I've always enjoyed riding my bike around town, but ever since I started commuting to work every single day, I realized that I was breathing in a lot of just exhaust and smog. I live in Austin, but I've also lived in Denver and in San Francisco and, and all of these big cities just sort of, they, you know, there's traffic. There's really no way around it. But I, I found that when I was commuting and a big truck would pass me or I'd be behind an older car, I would kind of, you know, pull my pull my collar over or try to get my sleeve over my mouth, just kind of, you know, power through. Um, but, you know, and then I'm taking my hand off of, off of the uh, handlebars and it just, it seemed like there had to be a better solution. I've seen painter's masks and things to help, you know, keep them from getting exposed to um, you know, hazardous materials and stuff. So I thought I'd give one of those a try. Um, but what I found was that when I, when I put one of those on, it sort of got in the way of my my glasses. So, you know, th these are the glasses I wear uh, when I cycle. They're Oakley Jawbones, and I've got clear lenses so I can use them at night. Um, but you'll see it sits on my nose, right? And those masks cover your nose, and so they, they push up your glasses, and when you breathe out, you fog your glasses up just like that. Um, so that's not a really great experience. Uh, I spent some time after trying that out um, looking at some other masks, and I found these ones. This is just, you know, a standard kind of like a medical one, and they go around your ears like this, and they cover your, your mouth, but they're kind of cheap. I don't think they do probably a great job of actually helping you to avoid smog and CO2 and that kind of stuff. They're more just to keep, you know, like materials from splashing up into your face or dust or that kind of thing. It's probably better than nothing, but it's it's probably more similar to just my coat sleeve. So I kept looking, and I found um, this Respro uh, mask, and I actually ordered this from the UK. And you can see this is this is neoprene. It's really high quality. It's got Velcro in the back, and there are these little filter clips here. So on the inside, it actually you can kind of unscrew these, and you can put on. A, uh, a different carbon filter and they sell different grades of these and so this is specifically designed with bicycle city commuting in mind but again you'll notice this one not only does it have a, a nose piece that sits on your nose but it's it's bigger than the painters masks and you know honestly this velcro latch in the back it just felt kind of tight it felt kind of small even though you know I got the size that was supposed to be for my size head or whatever um, so again, it was it was okay, but I actually tried using this without my glasses, and what I found was I'd get bugs in my eyes, or I'd get dust in my eyes when a car passed by, and that's almost just as bad as breathing in exhaust, you know, maybe even worse if you get something in your eye and you crash your bike. So, you know, I set out to, again, try to keep searching and possibly build my own solution, and, and that's what I did next. I built a solution. I took one of these Respro... Uh, carbon filters. You can see it here, the different layers. There's a the carbon layer in there. And I took a snorkel that I ordered online and I just pulled off the tube that used to go right here. And I actually used some of these bottles that I just got at the Michael's Craft Store. And I built my own solution. And uh, here's the filter I came up with. So I'm using a rubber band and um, kind of a paper clip thing here and then this was for a drain cover for your sink or bathtub and I rigged the whole thing up uh, it actually fits right into the other end of the snorkel so I can ride along with this and what it does is it it frees up my nose nothing touches my nose with this design um, which is which is really great you know I can actually this is this is right set up here I breathe in through my mouth and then I can breathe out through my nose or my mouth, but it, the exhaust comes out here, or if I really breathe hard, it comes out here. And uh, it works pretty well, and I've got like a lanyard here so I can kind of spit it out if I want to talk to someone. And that's the real, you know, downside of this is you've got slobber <laughs> on, on the mouthpiece now. You, you look kind of funny, and you spit it out and, and it hanging around your neck. You know, it's modular, so I can take off the filter and clean this, and it does stay reasonable reasonably clean but you know it just it leaves something to be desired it's also a little clunky and kind of awkward um but it worked <laughs> so in the meantime i continued my search as i said before and i found what i think is probably the best 
uh, pollution mask for for city bicycling, and it's made by this company um, called Dream Labs out of Singapore, and they make this thing called the Toto Bobo, and they have you know it's kind of a, an interesting name in their websites. Um, I think it could it could be optimized a little bit, but this is what the mask looks like right there. Do you see that? It's clear. It's got a filter built right in. I ordered some extra straps because this thing can actually use a single strap, uh, just like a painter's mask, or it can use the double ear loop mask like we saw earlier. So it's super versatile, and they even sell, you know, higher grade filters here. These ones are this is the Matrix filter, effective against viruses, airborne pathogens, pollen, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, it's pretty awesome, and you know you can replace these pretty inexpensively. Uh, here's the one I actually use every day going to work, and I'm not sure if you can see this very well, but it's actually, you know, it's like slightly discolored um, on the part where air goes in and out right there. And you can see some condensation because I actually just got home from work, but this this is great because it doesn't go over your nose. It, it stops just short of your nose, and so it solves pretty much all of the issues um, that that I discussed here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put it on real quick and then I'll put my glasses on and show you what uh, what it looks like. So, you know, I have the I've got the adjustable single strap. So there we go. Just put it on like that. Just below the nose. And it's clear so I can still talk, which was another issue of the snorkel. You can't really talk. And, uh, I put on my glasses. You can notice a little bit of fogging, but if that starts to happen, I can just breathe out my nose. So, you know, it probably looks a little probably looks a little funky to someone who uh hasn't has never seen people riding around with a mask, but this is pretty popular in Asia. And again, when you start riding regularly and especially in a city environment, I'd rather look a little bit goofy. Um, and use something like this and, and stay healthy. And, you know, this keeps, it actually kind of warms up the air a little bit as you breathe it in. And maybe it sends a little bit of a message to drivers like, hey, you know, this is, I'm breathing polluted air. Um, if you have asthma or something, this could help uh, help you avoid triggers for that and maybe help you avoid coughing. Uh, sometimes I would get a headache when I was riding, you know, to and from work. And, um, you know, I, I just, I feel more comfortable using this and um, yeah, I'm sure new products will be invented as we move towards more people on bikes but this is a pretty good one I highly recommend it it's a Toto Bobo um, or any of these products and <laughs> build your own thing I think it's important to remember that when you're in a car all of the air that you're breathing that comes through the vents is actually going through a filter and when you get your oil changed they check that filter um, whether it's just the air or the heater or the AC, um, you know, that's protecting you. When you're on a bike or running, you don't have a filter. Your lungs are your filter. And um, according to Livestrong, I did some research and, and they said that you move a 0.5 liters of air with each breath sort of normally. But with exercise, this may increase to 4 liters per breath. And the frequency also increases from about 12 breaths per minute up to about 48 breaths per minute. Um, you know, so that's, it's like a 4x increase and, uh, you know, having a, a filter like this could really make a difference. So for more information, the full written review and some links to these products, check out electricbikereview.com. Thanks.